This week on my last weekend. So, like I said, I'm no pro, but I, I do get a lot of comments asking why don't I give tips on how to cut trees down? Well, because whenever you do that, there's a hundred people that are like, that's not the way you do it. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be dropping some trees. <clears throat> we're clearing an area on this side of the cabin and on the other side of the cabin. On the other side of the cabin, we're going to start uh, digging the trench for our solar panels and, and making a little area for that. But this is by far the biggest tree I've ever cut before. So let's go take a look at it. All right, there she is. She is... 10 foot, 8 inches around, not at the base base, but I measured her right up above this guy here because I didn't want to include this knot here. So it's definitely a, a huge tree. Fortunately, it's leaning in the right direction we want it to go. So we shouldn't have any issues with that. But uh, yeah, it's a big tree. So uh, let's get geared up and we'll start cutting on this thing. Get a drink of water. Holy smokes, man. Well, that upset the rooster. All right, so, man, we'll measure how far across that was, but that's by far the biggest tree I ever cut down. It's a little nerve wracking. It was leaning that way. I wanted to fall it close to the wood pile that I had, so it worked out good, but honestly, I wasn't, ex I was expecting to cut a little more. Um, yeah, I wasn't ready for it to fall yet because I was going to turn another camera on and get it to go, but it, it fell where it fell and, and it really did fall really right where I wanted it. I wanted it right at the tip of that wood pile right there. And so we'll drink some water and start getting rid of all these dead leaves. You know what? Honestly, I was going to put a hard hat on too because you never know when one of these, I mean, these things weigh freaking 50, 60 pounds, these big, these big dead limbs. And when it starts to go, they could have, uh, one, you know, if it was super rotten, it could have fell off. So that's, that's my bad. Um, yeah, I meant to put a, a hard hat on. Oh, I heard you yelling. No? Okay? Yeah. Is that the problem? My parents, are you yelling? 
No. The rooster was cock a doodling. Oh my gosh, maybe it was that. Yeah. I kept hearing he, he was going. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm glad, uh, glad she came out to check on me. All right, so let me uh, drink some water and uh, I'll fire up her, my fire up my smaller saw and we'll start bucking this stuff up. This is just for size at its narrowest it was three foot one inch and at its furthest apart it was uh, 3.8 three three foot eight inches so it was, it was a good size good size tree. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, man, I totally uh, ran out of batteries, so I didn't even get this tree. So that's two trees. I wanted to get three or four, but Janet came by and the girls with some fresh blueberry picked pie. And uh, I had to take a break and get some pie. This is Rocky. Uh, Steve and Janet had a rooster and they couldn't have him when they brought him into town. So we said we would give him a foster home and see if it works out with us for him to be here. Because we also heard, since we had that one bird die, because there was something outside of the coop, but she flew into the fence and die, you know, broke her neck. Um, we heard that roosters will keep them calm, so we thought we'd give it a shot. All right, guys, so we got the uh, chickens all squared away, and Lulu's down there working on the garden, so I thought we'd come up here and get the rest of these trees down. Um, 
One thing we're going to do is because they're, since they're so close to the cabin and a few of them are leaning the wrong way, we're going to hook up a, uh, a, a block and, and a, a wrench and that way we can pull it the way we want it to go. So we'll get all suited up again and start cutting trees down today. so you can see how that winch I mean that thing was really leaning hard going towards our outhouse so what by throwing that winch on before I I mean I cut the face on it and then before I even started the back cut we could stand that that thing almost vertically straight up and then when I started cutting the, the back cut on it I just told her to winch in just a little bit at a time uh, and then that was it I just kind of just followed through with the cut at the end and yeah it fell where we wanted hey I was just thinking that some you know, if you were like me if seven years ago, you had no clue what you were doing when it comes to forestry type stuff. So I thought I'd kind of walk through what our, uh, what we're doing here. And that way it might be a little, uh, for some folks it might, uh, you know, shed some light on what's going on. So uh, I have a winch mounted to the tractor, but you, you could use a, a come along. You just need to have your come along secured to a... A tree so we'll walk down here and I'll show you show you how you could do a come along setup all right so here's the tree that we're at that we're um, using our snatch block on come alongs have a little a little hook on the end of them that you can latch on to stuff so really you could just latch on to this with your come along and then you'd have to have somebody winching down here but you also have to keep in mind this is the way the tree's going to go so with the snatch block you double your pulling power so it's less effort but you're getting more I don't know what the right term would be resistance maybe um so let's say you're come along a pull a thousand pounds and you put a snatch block on it then you just double the like two thousand pounds so it's it's less effort to pull whatever you want in the direction and then if you use multiple come alongs that's how you can lift big heavy stuff with very little effort um so anyways here's here's what we're doing is we've got the 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 steel cable going from the from the tractor to the snatch block and then we just then we just run the cable over to the where we want it on the tree so we're gonna set it up on that tree that tree's pretty straight but since uh we're doing an uh, educational thing we'll uh we'll just go through the whole process so here's what we did with our tractor is when you're pulling bigger trees though uh the winch will just literally pull the tractor so we put the uh the downriggers down and then I put the uh, the, the backhoe put the put the put it in the bucket uh, put the bucket in the ground so it gives it a little more uh, resistance so it doesn't go nowhere and that's really worked out pretty good uh. so the higher up on the tree you get the uh, the more leverage you get on it too that's why we get up here as high as we can on this ladder 
they make little um, I don't know what they call them monkey fist or monkey ball uh, and it's basically it's just something you can throw up on the tree so so we got our uh, our tree saver here and we'll come over here and grab our cable Alright, so this doesn't have a hook on it, so, but if it did, you could just hook it to this if you wanted, but I, I just thread this bolt through here like that. There we go. So you see now that our winch is going that way, that's the way the tree's going to want to go. And really the tree's kind of almost straight up and down, so we're just going to cut it aiming towards the snatch block and maybe a little left to it and, and uh, see if we can get it like right on top of the pile of logs there. So since we're here, I thought I'd show you, so when you get it that far, you don't want to cut all the way through here, you want it to start falling on its own, so here's what your wedges are good for, you just take your wedge, and there it goes. And that's it. So, like I said, I'm no pro, but I, I do get a lot of comments asking why don't I give tips on how to cut trees down? Well, because whenever you do that, there's a hundred people that are like, that's not the way you do it. But this is the way I've been doing it for seven years since we've been here. So, I'll tell you in this video a little bit of what I've learned over the time. So, if I include it, I showed some video of us limbing all this, all this up. But now we have, basically, a suspended bridge right here. And so... I'm going to show you how I uh, get rid of this and uh, buck this up without getting my uh, bar stuck in the tree. And the reason why I stopped limbing is because this is something that you really need to pay attention on is, is these branches, any of the branches really, but especially up towards the top where the top is being suspended, these are under a lot of, a, a lot of load. So uh, you have to be a little more careful. And because this is all brush and there's, there's, um, rounds in there and logs and stuff and I don't have a clear foothold I don't want to cut so I'll get the 
the um, tension off of them and then then we can finish cutting it up but that's that's a, a big thing is just knowing I guess the safest way to do stuff so and that's what I try to do is is semi the safest way I mean I don't go crazy like I said I should have worn a helmet on that one tree but I didn't uh, but I always wear these man these are I think I think they're called bugs and they're just uh, wire mesh um, um, goggles and the reason why I wear these is because man if you're if it's cold and typically I mean right now we're in a heat wave we're almost like at 65 degrees um, but if it's cold outside and your body's you're just sweating up a storm and you're wearing just safety glasses it just, they just fog up dude and it well, I don't know which is which is worse getting a little chunk of wood in your eye or not being able to see and cut your, cut your damn leg off so uh I, I started wearing these a long time ago and i really i really enjoy them um i also like to put music in if i'm cutting if i'm following the tree then i don't listen to music because i like to listen to what the tree's doing but if i'm doing this stuff I, I like to put earphones in and listen to music and then just put my um hearing protection over the top of it uh, so anyways, let's get this set up and I'll show you how I split these, these, uh, when, when you got a bridge like this, uh, how I, how I get, uh, get the tension off of it. the last tree we're cutting down today uh, it's a it's pretty much straight up it's leaning a little that way I got the cable on it really didn't need it but I got it and then this guy is gonna come down and it's pretty much straight but this guy is leaning and it's a pretty good size so and it's headed right towards the tent so I think we're gonna wait on that one and and maybe since the tents, I mean, it's not super heavy, we may just, um, uh, maybe I can get Steve to come over and we can just pick the tent up, move it out of the way and drop that. And then uh, we're gonna be moving this because uh, we got our solar panels from Craig and Millie. So, uh, well, hold on one second. All right, I'm back. So we're moving this because uh, we got the panels from Craig and Millie. So this is gonna go, uh, closer towards the beach and this is our this is gonna be our inverter place uh, I didn't show this I didn't film any of it but I built a little tiny box and we we had eight batteries batteries originally and we doubled it so now we got 16 batteries that's one we got so now we have two 48 volt batteries these are both um, six volt and they're just all state golf cart batteries So we're clearing area over here because we want to make some storage over here and then we're going to start clearing over there so we can have our, our permanent rain catchment and dig the lines for a leach field and also so we can bury the cables going to the solar panels. So there you go. That's why we're cutting down trees. We're, we're making room for some some much for some some much needed space so let's get this last one dropped today and then uh and then uh we'll see what we're doing next week
got that log ox last year and I've been using it. I mean, it's, I've been putting it to use, but I'm trying to figure out like how big of logs you can, you can use it with and what you can use it for. And when I get it all dialed in, I'll do a review on it, but I don't want to just be like, this is the greatest thing since sliced cheese. I will agree that that little thing that, to help you pick up firewood, that thing's awesome, but I don't know. If you had smaller trees, I think, I think this is about as big as, I mean, it can't even pick it up in the middle. You have to go over towards the very end of it. So I don't know. I'll keep, I'll keep working with it and let you guys know when I give it my thumbs up or not. All right, let's get this buffed up here and that's it for today. I had to put my shorts on because it got too hot.